Hi, Magpie! Welcome to my official video for Kosei! So in this video, we are together going to explore Kosei and talk a little bit about how Kosei works. But we're gonna start off with going through all of the controls. Before I do that, however, I do want to tell you that there's a link in the description to magpiepedals.com where you can pick up a Kosei for yourself to enjoy and play around with. But yeah, let's start with going through all of the controls and to help me with that, I'm gonna have an arpeggiator going so that I can be very hands-on with Kosei because Kosei has a lot going on for it actually. LEDs might indicate as such. Just to say, the Kosei is a PT2399 delay where the time parameter is controlled by a sample and hold function. So if you don't know what a sample and hold function is, you're hopefully gonna do that soon when I have told you about it. Before I do that though, I wanna show you the bypass switching system because Kosei utilizes the triple bypass system that me and Analog developed together where you have three modes for turning the pedal on and off. So you have a normal mode, just turning the pedal on and off, on again and off. Secondly, if you hold the bypass button, then it's only gonna be on until you release it. Or it's gonna be off until you release it. And lastly, the third option is going with the tap tempo. So if you double tap quickly, it enters madness <laughs> right now. What well, you can see on this one, which is the, the bypass LED, that is just turning on and off, and you can tap in the tempo. So the first mode that you enter when you turn on Cozy is the manual mode. And in manual mode, you have a button here that every time you press, will sample the state of this analog LFO that is indicated by this blue LED over here. And the controls are simply mix, feedback, and a time knob for the delay. And then we have speed for the LFO, and then a clock speed for when you're not in manual mode, and a depth knob for, uh, yeah, how, how deep the sample and hold function can, can like affect the delay time. So what happens is that this LFO is just going at all times, but every time you press this button in manual mode, you sample the, the, exactly where the LFO was on its curve, and that is then affecting how long the delay time is going to be. So it samples wherever that is, and then it holds it until you press it again. So it's like this, yeah, you, you, you randomly like latch on to a new delay setting. If you hold this button, you enter a tap tempo mode, or like an auto mode, which just walks by itself. Where you can either set the tempo on this part, or you can tap it in. So on the yellow light, you can see, we sort of get a visual indication of the, the, the sample state, you know? And here, this one blinks very, very fast, but uh, yeah, you get to see this sampling tempo. And Kosi has sort of two and a half modes, because every time you move over to the manual mode from this automatic mode, it will be in a constant state of uh, sampling without actually sampling. So it's like you open the floodgates and you're simply following the LFO at all times, as you can see here. And then we have a, a like a modulated delay where the LFO is controlling the delay time. So you can get these vibrato effects as well. And then, first time you press, you have now sampled. And you will just manually sample. In manual mode, you can also sync it with a 5 volt uh, CV clock source. So we can sync it to the tempo of the arpeggiator. Which is really, really, really cool because it becomes so trippy when it's some, somewhat random, but it's still on a, like a, the set tempo. 
Oh yeah, syncing this to something like a, a drum beat. We have so much going on already with just this really simple arpeggiator. So lastly, as you saw when I, when I fired up Cozy, in manual mode, the sampling function is also synced to the, the triple bypass when the triple bypass in, is in the tap tempo bypass mode. Meaning that every time it turns back on again, after having been off, it's, it's gonna <laughs> give you a new delay time. That's really hard. Just basically one.
these videos with uh, showing you the inside and talking a little bit about that uh, but I want to say that I intend to together with Analog Weapon my co-host in the Almost Vile podcast who has helped me develop much of what's going on with the technology in the new Magpie Pedals Pedals uh, we intend to talk more at length and in a conversational manner about everything that has to do with the new Magpie Pedals Pedals but I want to show it in these videos as well and I realize now that Kosi is one of the the harder ones <laughs> based on the all that's going on with the, the Molex wiring here because it's sort of however analog is the one who has helped me develop the triple bypass system uh, and that's what's going on with this relay over here and we can have a quick listen to it if we put it in triple bypass Mainly want to show that because it's got such a lovely sound, in my opinion. So that relay is just... When it's off, when no power is plugged in, it's just constantly simply moving the signal from jack to jack in its natural state. And then when you power it, it will flippity-flop to let the signal go through what's going on inside of Cozy. And there's quite a lot going on. But so what's... Working with the relay is a microcontroller and then Cozy actually has a second microcontroller that is specifically for the sample and hold. So it's separated into two small ones and that's for reasons that we might discuss in the podcast. However, as you can see inside of Cozy, there's also a trim pot over here and that's where you can yourself tune the wave shape of the analog LFO that is going uh, at all times <laughs> in, in Cozy that is being sampled. So I recommend keeping it somewhere here at like, I don't know, 2 p.m., 1 p.m., 2, 3. Feel free to experiment, but it will just cancel out at most of the positions on that trim pot. But you can tweak it a tiny bit. Um, then, of course, we have the PT2399 and all of that shenanigans going on as well. But I think most of the magic with Cozy lays within the realm of the two microcontrollers and uh, the LFO. Other than that, as you can see, it's a very, very tight fit. Here's like a little vac draw that I 3D print myself. It's an LDR and an LED that I'm able to fit in there. And yeah, the PCB is... It's just, <laughs> yeah, woo. it's, uh, it is what it is. I intend to uh, record myself building all of these paddles. So um, putting all the components in place and soldering up the, the PCB and also drilling and hammering in the letters in the boxes. So you can look forward to that if you want to see me getting this tight of a fit in there. So instead, I'm just going to say, Thank you very much for watching and uh, extra big thank you if you decide to pick one of these up for yourself. Uh, they're coming at a pretty limited scope, I guess. I don't think it's one of the types of pedals that I intend to make hundreds of or anything like that. So pick one up while it exists. That And that has nothing to do with... <laughs> how much effort goes into building a single unit. Uh, not at all, I promise. But uh, yeah, th thank you very much if you decide to pick one up and I will see you further down the line. <laughs>